கேஸ் மே ராமத்தால் அண்ட் அதர் சீசர்ஸ் கே ராஜமணி டி த்ரூ எல்ஆர்எஸ் அண்ட் அனதர் சிவில் அப்பில் நம்பர் எயிட் எயிட் த்ரீ ஜீரோ ஆஃப் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெல் தி பிளெயின்டிவ் ஃபைல்டு ஆன் அப்பில் அகேன்ஸ்ட் ய மத்ராஸ் ஹைகோர்ட் வெர்டிக் டேட்டு நவம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட் இன் ஏ இன்வால்விங் ஏ டிஸ்பியூட் ஓவர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சென்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் இன் தமிழ்நாடு தி லேண்ட் வாஸ் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி ஓனுடு பை தி ஃபஸ்ட்டு பிளேன்டிவ் நாச்சிமுத்து ஹூ கேவ் இட் டு ஹீஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒய்ஃப் ராமத்தால் இன் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் ஃபிஃப்டி சென்ட் நாச்சிமுத்து அண்டு ராமத்தால் தி பிளேன்டிவ் கிளைம்டு தட் தி ஆக்ட் ஏ பர்சன் நேம்டு ராஜமணி டு டெவலப் தி லேண்ட் ஃபார் தம் அண்ட் ப்ரொவைடட் ஹிம் ஏ பவர் ஆஃப் அட்டார்னி ஃபார் தட் ரீசன் ராஜமணி ஆன் த அதர் ஹேண்ட் ரிப்போர்ட்லி இன்சர்ட் டேர்ம்ஸ் டு தி பவர் ஆஃப் அட்டார்னி வித் அவுட் தர் நாலேஜ் அலோவிங் ஹிம் டு சேல் த லேண்ட் அண்ட் கண்டக்ட் அதர் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ராஜமணி இஷ்யூடு சேல் டாக்குமெண்ட் ஃபார் ஃபிஃப்டி சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் ஈச் இன் ஃபேவர் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் ஃபாதர் அண்ட் பிரதர் ஆன் த டே த பவர் ஆஃப் அட்டார்னி வாஸ் ரிஜிஸ்டர்டு அண்டர் வால்யூ தம் த கிளை கிளைமனட் uncovered this activities in 1988 and began legal steps including a lawsuit the claim was first rejected by the trial court but the first appellate court overturned this judgment concluding that the provision of the power of attorney had been unlawfully integrated without consent however the high court found in a second appeal that the first appellate court ruling was erroneous since there was no particular pleading or problem relating to the plea of non used faction a claim that the document is not what it appears to be the ruling of the trial court was upheld by the high court leading to plaintiff's appeal the plaintiff claimed that they never authorized the new power of attorney terms and the and that rajamani took advantage of that literacy they further argued that the rajamani hasty transfer of the land to member of his family demonstrated malice according to the plaintiff the first appellate court correctly examined the non est factum plea based on their pleadings and the evidence the defendant on the other hand contended that while the plaintiff acknowledged to executing the power of attorney the high court the high court finding was, was lawful because there was no particular pleading on the subject of non est factum the supreme court ruled that the plaintiff had properly pleaded the non est factum problem and that the high court decision to the contrary was wrong the object of pleading and issues according to the court is to establish the scope of a trial and ensure that the parties are aware of the matters in dispute based on the pleadings and the evidence the first appellate court rightly examined the non est factum plea in this instance the court further found that the defendants act in undervaluing the land sales and failing to pay stamp duty bolstered the plaintiff allegation as a consequence the supreme court granted the appeal overturned the high court verdict and upheld the decision of the first appellate court declaring in favor of the plaintiff next case yadaya and another versus state of telangana and other 108 2023 the following issues are addressed in this decision one leave of absence has been granted the appeal concerning a judgment issued by a high court of telangana on december 31 2021 in this case the division bench granted the state of telangana and its revenue official intra court appeal reversing the rule of a single judge as a result of the reception order dated january 27 2007 which is essential to the controversy over the assignment of non occupied land to landless scheduled caste or scheduled tribes person referred to as assignees for cultivation in the 1950 has been upheld 3 given the party's extensive history of litigation in various forum including the supreme court the judgment delve into the details of this protracted legal dispute before addressing legal issues such as res judicata the nature of assignment and alleged 
violation of assignment condition furthermore by a court ruling dated 6 9 2022 the grey hounds commando force represented by the additional director general of police has been added as a party responded since the disputed territory is allegedly allotted and used for the training purposes next case 2023 llr 852 karnataka high court kanara bank versus the applet authority under payment of gratuity act 1972 and regional labor commissioner central and others the court examined a matter involving the payment of gratuity act of 1972 under the discharge of a bank employee in this decision the following are the important points and finding in the judgment the petitioner bank fired on employee responder number 3 for wrong doing and the employee filed an industrial dispute under the industrial disputes act the employee requested that the gratuity be determined but this request was first denied the following that the employee applied for gratuity under section 7 of the payment of gratuity act 1972 the application was denied by the controlling authority who cited a pending dismissal case before the central government industrial tribunal cgit in this in its interim award the cgit ruled that the department investigation into the employee's misbehavior was not conducted fairly and appropriately the employee then filed an appeal under section 7 of the gratuity payment act of 1972 the appellate authority granted the employee's appeal and paid him rupees 8,46,219 rupees in the gratuity plus 10% interest according to the petitioner bank policy on employee removed for misbehavior result in financial loss to the bank should not be entitled for a gratuity citing a supreme court ruling kanara bank and other cases lalit police the court did remark however that the monetary damage suffered by the bank had not be defined and no order under section 4 class 6 of the payment of gratuity act 1972 forfeiting the gratuity some had been issued the court cited on earlier division bench ruling and highlighted that the circumstances involving misbehavior on employer must be separately assess whether a gift should be lost this decision should take into account a number of variables including the employee service history the nature of the implication and the any other relevant concerns decision should take into account a number of variables including the employee service history the nature of the implication and any other relevant concerns the court held that is the appellate authority decision to award the employee a gratuity was not unlawful since the petitioner bank did not follow the procedure established in section 4 class 6 of the act and did not issue an order for forfeiting the gratuity as a result the petitioner writ petition was dismissed by the court in summary ruling highlights that before withholding or forfeiting on employee's gratuity on employer must follow the right procedure which include estimating monetary damages and obtaining on order under section 4 class 6 the failure to take this precaution renders such conduct unlawful next case sri mahabubsa b son of muhammad this is the management of N W K R T C Hawari Division 2023 L L R 850 Karnataka High Court. The following important issue and findings are provided in this ruling concerning the Industrial Dispute Act of 1947. Following a departmental investigation, responded Karaj Corporation discharged a driver from duty for unlawful absence. The worker disputed his discharge by filing a labor dispute. the worker claimed that the dismissal decision was issued without following the procedure of section 33 class 2 sub class b of the industrial disputes act of 1947 the workman's claim petition was denied by the labor court the worker filed a writ case disputing the labor court's decision requesting full back 
pay and other consequent benefits the management did not deny that they had failed to get pre year consent as required by section 33 class 2 sub class b of the act the court pointed to prior rulings in which it was established that any instruction issued by management that do not meet with the requirement of section 33 class 2 sub class b of the act are void in the eyes of the law as a result the court determined that the respondent corporation dismissal judgment was unsustainable in law and that labor court had failed to recognize this fact the court accepted the respondent corporation financial situation and precedent of similar petitions being heard by lok adalat where reinstatement of the worker was awarded but back wages are rejected as a result the court the court granted the writ petition in party by quashing the labor court verdict and the corporation dismissal decision in order that the corporation to restore the petitioner with all related benefits including continuity of work but it refused to pay back wages the corporate corporation was also directed to calculate and settle the benefits within 3 months of receiving the court's order in summary ruling underlines that on order of the dismissal issued without compliance with the conditions of section 33 class 2 sub class b of the industrial dispute act 1947 is void under the law as a result the worker is entitled to reinstatement with the community of service and the other service benefits except pay back back pay next case 22823 mr s t shindi t r partner versus government of maharashtra this case include appeals against a bombay high court ruling from the aurangabad bench the controversy centers on a road building contract given to the applicant by the government of maharashtra irrigation department the contract called for 18 month completion time but delays occurred and the contractor claimed reimbursement for a variety of difficulties following are the case key points and findings the irrigation department gave the applicant a construction contract but the pro- project was delayed over the deadline dispute ensued between the parties promoting the appellant to seek the appointment of an arbitrator in accordance with the contract the arbitrator granted the appellant a large sum for a variety of claims including interest under section 30 and 33 of the indian arbitration act the state appealed the arbitrator judgment critical citing legal malpractice the award was overturned by the trial court and the result was maintained by the high court the claims were time barred according to the trial court and the high court since the appellant did not commence arbitration within the contractually required time limit the further determined that the judgment exceeded the terms of the arbitration agreement furthermore the appellant was found to have failed to put all the legal representative of the deceased original contractor on to the record rendered the arbitration proceedings invalid the appellant asserted the lower court judgment were unconstitutional particularly because the claims were time barred and relied on legal precedent to support their position the appellant underlined that the delay in beginning arbitration was by the was caused by the state failures to rule on the claims the appellant cited specific findings by the arbitrator involving delays and interpretation caused by a variety of causes including delays in submitting designs cement shortage canal water releases and financial concerns they said that the arbitrator decision was based on the facts submitted and did not go beyond the parameter of ref- reference the state claimed that because claims were not filed within the prescribed time limit they were time barred and contractually prohibited the further claimed that the arbitration become procedurally flawed since all legal representative of the debt contractor were not called to the stand the state questioned the judgment of the damages namely compensation for work interpretation caused by canal water leaks 
the court analysis and conclusion the court rejected the state contention that the claims were time barred underlining that the right to arbitrate emerges when the final bill is drafted and rejected the arbitration request was lodged within the time limit in this case the court found that the appellate request for arbitration was justified by the state's delay in making decision on the claims due to the extraordinary circumstances of the delay and the mutual contact foreclosure the court decided that the claims for arbitration were not prohibited by contractual time restriction the court rejected the allegation that the record was procedurally faulty since not all legal representative of the debt contractor were called to the stand because this problem had been resolved the court recognized that the the arbitrator's conclusion was founded on the facts offered and that the damages awarded were justified the court highlighted that interfering with the arbitration result should be avoided unless there is an obvious mistake of law on the face of the award the court determined that the lower court had engaged in extensive appellate review which exceeded their jurisdiction and overturned the that decision the court upheld the arbitrator decision and ordered the state to pay the appellate in full within 8 weeks of the award throughout the proceeding the appellate was granted cost in short the court ruled that the lower court erred in overturning the arbitrator's judgment since there was no mistake of law visible on the face of the award the claims were not prohibited by the time and the damages granted were supported by the evidence provided during arbitration the court upheld the arbitrator's ruling and ordered the state to pay the appellate legal fees besco limited versus the state of haryana 23 823 the decision concerns civil appeal emanating from a joint judgment degree rendered in rfa number 1232 of 2019 in the high court of punjab and the haryana in chandigarh on November 2 2021 the appellate in these cases are land owners whose land was covered by a section 4 class 1 of notification issued under the land acquisition act of 1893 on may 30 2010 land owners submit these appeals to get more compensation for their purchased land the acquired lands are located in the village of malputra kapri was and sitrawal as a result the appeal the appeals are resolved by a joint ruling the state of haryana represented by the district collector of district revali issued a section 4 class 1 notification under the land acquisition act proposing a acquisition total of 1222 kanal and 6 marla of land in village malpura sub tahsil saura hera district revali for the purpose of establishing and developing on integrated industrial complex under the other public utilities the haryana state industrial development corporation manages the industrial complex in desil bawal district revali the compensation given to the land owner was established by the land acquisition officer in on award dated may 10 2013 for ease of preference the parties in this case or referral to the land owner the state lao and hcs idc 24823 mukesh singh versus state ncp of delhi the decision include on appeal by a convict accused against the february 28 2014 judgment and the degree of the high court of delhi the appeal was denied by the high court which upheld and the appellate conviction and life sentence the appellate was convicted of many indian penal code charges including murder section 302 robbery section 392 and 394 and other associated offenses the case centered on on event that occurred on august 15 2005 at 3:30 am in delhi asadpur sabse mandi the prosecution claimed that the appellate and the three other co accused corner did the first informant and his companion pappu while they were out they were out shopping for vegetables they the accused took money from pw1 pocket and when he refused to of the accused beat him and pappu 
the time speaks pop was killed in the process died later in the hospital during the encounter aplat and another co accused were accused on implicating injuries with ice picks pw1 filed an fir on the same day detailing the occurrence and naming the defendant the aplat filed an appeal against his conviction but the high court affirmed that lower court's decision decision promoting this special appeal thanks for watching this video